Nazi Media, Staff Philadelphia, PA, Kensington Cover Photo Courtesy, 6ABC Action News. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Over 60 shots were fired during a shooting on a Kensington Street yesterday, that left two people injured. A 6ABC Action News report said the incident happened on the 700 block of East Willard Street at around 6.05 p.m. on Wednesday evening. Photo, Philadelphia Inquirer. Police said they arrived at the scene to find two victims suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. A 19 and 25-year-old, who were both rushed to the hospital and last reported to be in stable condition. Greater than we found over 60 spent shell casings. Clearly two separate calibers. We know two separate caliber semi-automatic guns were fired said Police Chief Inspector Scott Small. According to investigators, surveillance video captured one of the victims as he ran into a corner store after being shot greater than you can clearly see the victim run to the back of the store, he had a gun in his hand, and he handed that gun off to another male. That male went outside of the store and put the gun into a parked vehicle Scott added. Police found the gun in the backseat of the car. The man who put it there was being held by police as a suspect. Both victims of the shooting are in the hospital, and also in police custody. <music> Nazi Media, Staff Philadelphia, PA, Ronhurst Cover Photo Courtesy. 6 ABC Action News. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A man was killed and another man is currently in extremely critical condition after both were found shot in the head in the Ronhurst section of the city last night. A 6 ABC Action News report said the shooting happened on the 8300 block of Bustleton Avenue at around 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Photo, CBS 3 Philly. Both victims, reported to be in their 20s, were found slumped over inside of a Nissan Altima that had apparently hit a fire hydrant and a utility pole before coming to rest on the corner of Cotman Avenue and Strahill Street. One victim was pronounced dead at the scene by paramedics, the other victim was rushed to Jefferson Torresdale Hospital where he was last reported to be in extremely critical condition. Police said they believe the shooting happened somewhere else and the accident scene was where the victim finally lost control of the vehicle. Greater than we don't know where the shooting occurred. It didn't occur here clearly. We have been going up and down Bustleton trying to find some sort of a crime scene or spent shell casings. We have been unsuccessful thus far, said Philadelphia Police Inspector, D.F. Pace. A motive for the shooting has not been reported. No suspects have been named and no arrests have been made at this time. 